All the levees on the riverbank are about to get a major evaluation. Governor Asa Hutchinson is ordering a task force to analyze the dozens of flood barriers tested over the past month. THV 11's Roly Hoyt outlines what he has in mind. Roly Marlisa and Craig, the water is still high in places along the Arkansas River. You just saw that there, and it's rising on other rivers in the state. No time like the present to motivate people protected by these decade-old levees to make them stronger before the next flood arrives. I'm signing Executive Order 1910 that will establish the Arkansas Levee Task Force. The federal bill for flooding damage is just getting started at $6 million. Governor Asa Hutchinson thinks a new task force and $10 million in startup cash will be money well spent. We have levies that are needed, but there's not an organizational structure that will uh, provide the maintenance. Alarm bells about the levy system have been ringing for at least four years. It led to new laws that spurred county officials to get a handle on their local status. But out of 93 levies in the state, only 20 county clerks reported back before this flood. With a handful of failures or near failures, the state is stepping up. It's clearly time that we have to take stronger action, and that's uh, what I'm asking the levy task force to review and make recommendations on. The 20-person panel will lean on well-organized levy boards to lead the ones who fell behind. It costs us about $3 million per year uh, to maintain the 411 miles of levy. Rob Rash heads up the sprawling St. Francis Levy Board. He directs maintenance of the flood protection across eight counties. The money and the guidance is on the way, even to places that didn't make their levy a priority until now. I'm afraid that, that the flooding and the devastation caused by it has probably gotten a lot of the message out to the people that were negatively affected. For some officials leading the charge, the stakes are high for everyone. We lost access to roads. This is not just an agriculture field problem. This is not just a flooding of home problem. This is a situation where people can't get to hospitals. Now, the governor says the money for the task force will come from a reserve fund that often gets tapped for natural disasters. He wants a report on his desk by the end of the year.